Okay guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. Today, as you see the icons on the screen, we will do some CSS animations on those icons. We will use font awesome icons to do this. These animations won't be just simple hover effects, but we will take a look into after properties on elements and also animations with keyframes in CSS. Let's take a look what we will create today. So for the first icon, there is a border around and also a color change. Then cog icon will also have a color change, but uh, it will uh, start rotating and it will rotate uh, infinitely. And for the third icon, this is more advanced one, it will have uh, a kind of shadow border around and also it will uh, uh, transform, translate uh, our uh, lock here to the right and I again spawn it on the left side and come in into our icon field, right? So let's dive into code. Let's first take a look what we have uh, for the starting code. So our HTML file has import for our external CSS file here at the head of our HTML. And also down in the body you could see the script file. This is the import for font awesome icons that we will use. So just go to Font Awesome official website and copy your kit script if you are registered. If you are not, make sure to make an account first, then copy your kit and put it into your HTML. Simple thing. Then here, we have a wrapper for our icons. This is just to center our icons in the, on the center of the screen. And we have icons themselves. You can see that each icon has a FAS class. This is a Font Awesome class. Then we have an icon for Heartbeat and Cog. And the third icon, which is lock icon, uh, we will add the icon uh, through CSS. Also, each of our icons has uh, their own unique ID, icon 1, icon 2, icon 3. So we could target them separately and do the separate CSS for those. So for CSS, we have some base stylings here, uh, restarting padding and margin. And also background is uh, set to a bit gray color, as you could see here. Yeah. Also, there is a uh, icons uh, wrapper styling. This is the styling that will put our icons in the center of the screen. Then we are targeting each icon separately. We are putting some simple styles on those and we are putting border radius to 50%. Why? Well, we are working here with the circ circular icons, so we need this. We will also put transition or background and the color. So uh, the reason for this is basically we have uh, transitions for background and color on each of our icons. Then, as I mentioned, we will uh, work with the after effects, after properties on our HTML elements, on, on our icons. And here I have some simple stylings for those after properties. Content is empty as we are creating the content and it will be the icon in most cases. Then just uh, width and height to 100%, position absolute. As we have position relative on our icons, this uh, uh, after property will be in our icon and then border radius also to 50% as it should be uh, circular. So now we could start with animating our icons. So when you come to a screen with this uh, starter code, you will have something like this. The heart icon, uh, cog icon and the third the lock icon that is not visible at all. Why it is not visible? Well, uh, we are not putting any uh, icon in HTML. We are working with the icon in CSS, so we need to add that. But first we will style the heart icon, the first one. So let's go into code. So there is no need for the HTML changes as this is all we need for that icon. I will put my comment down here. Icon one. Let me scroll a bit so you could see it better. So now we will target our first icon. We will target it with ID icon one and uh, background color. As we will uh, put some background color, I will put something like C 0392B. If I go back, there is a background color. So let's now immediately change our hover color. On our hover, icon 1, hover. So background color, we will change it to the white one. And color will be the same as the background color on our, uh, on our uh, icon. 92B. Yeah. Let's take a look at this cover animation. Yes, it's working. So to have the animation that you saw on the start, we will need to use the after property on our icon one. So back to code. So icon one, 
after we are targeting that after property i will just put some uh, styling here like top minus seven pixel as it needs to be in the center kind of so it it's a bit off from it left also minus seven pixel then we will have a padding of seven pixel and uh, we will use a box shadow here so you remember that white border around the heart that we had on the start uh, we are not working with the border we are working with the box shadow so we will add the box shadow uh, to the after property so zero 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 four pixels and fff we will add the transitions now so you know that we have also already transitions for background here and color we need to add the transitions for uh, transform 0 0.2 seconds and also opac opacity uh, will be 0 0.2 seconds also so now to add that transform transform will uh, scale dot 8 for example and opacity will be 0 at the start so the after property won't be visible when we come to it so when we hover over our icon so icon 1 hover then at that point we are targeting after property and we will put transform to scale 1 from 0 0.8 to 1 and opacity now should be 1 so let's take a look how this looks uh, in our browser so yeah now that we hover you can see that the border is there and also it scales from uh, uh, from uh, our icon itself so now for the cog icon we need to put also background color usual stuff that we did on the first color and we need to add that uh, animation uh, rotation animation right so let's go into code in my code i will put a comment for icon 2 and i will target icon 2 so now what we need is to put the background color uh, we will use a green one 27 ae 60 so now let's immediately add a hover effect on our icon too we are just changing the color for this one background color should be 27 uh, sorry should be white when we hover and the color should be a uh, green one that we have so now back in our browser when we hover over the green background will turn to white and our cog will turn its color from white to green so for the cog animation we will have the animation the infinite rotation basically and to do that we won't use the after property but we will use uh, one more advanced technique of css it's called keyframes so for the keyframes i will work with those a bit here i will put uh, comment of rotation as we will create now animation for rotation these keyframes will allow us to create a different types of rotation based on a state we where our we current in uh, our animation so let me uh, show this to you and you will know so so we will use uh, at keyframes this is how we use keyframes and we will give it some name as we are working with the rotation we will add the name of rotation and i will open up my parentheses so we will have two states for this animation from and the second state will be 2 so we will do the rotation from transform rotate and 0 degrees so we are working with rot rotation here with rotate property on transform so we will transform from 0 to 360 degrees so now if I come back to my browser and refresh you won't see this animation so yeah if I hover over there is just uh, color animation that we have but uh, to use our uh, keyframe anima animation let's go back into code so on our icon hover when we hover over it we need to use a property called animation so the property animation will add the animation that we wish on our icon here so uh, we will first add the uh, uh, the name for the uh, animation it's called rotation right I will put 1.3 seconds it will need to rotate from 0 to 360 degrees 1.3 seconds it will rotate with linear animation and also I will put infinite here so if I put the infinite you can see 
description here causes the animation to repeat forever so the animation will go on and on uh, once it hits 316 360 degrees it will again turn 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 right so let's go back uh, into our browser so here if i hover over now our cog is turning so yeah so the icon tree now as you remember i told you that we will work with the after property on icon tree uh, we will add on after property our icon itself as we don't have the icon in html let's go into code so the icon tree icon tree i will style it here target it let's put some background color we will use the blue one here 2980b9 then uh, i will display this in line it is just for that after property so it could be better the padding will be uh, bigger for this one as we don't have the icon itself in html so if we would have the icon itself in html then font also would add some paddings for us but uh, as we don't we will need to do it to do it by our ourselves and there is one more thing i will add a transition here of box shadow uh, we need it to be uh, 0 0.3 seconds so yes now the uh, icon tree let's do the hover effect icon tree hover and uh, now background color will be white then color itself will be blue and the box shadow we will add the box shadow now as we have that transition it will look it will look nice zero 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 eight pixel and rgba we will use here so rgb is just the static col static colors we will use the 255 255 255 it's a white color but as we are using a, a rgba we we can uh, add the opacity to it so that opacity will be 0 0.3 so if i go back into our browser you can see that we have now field for our icon but there is no icon we didn't add one still so if we hover over it we will have that change color and uh, background color and we will have that box shadow it, it looks kind of weird but uh, we will fix it in a second let's first add the icon to it so for the icon we need to use here icon 3 after so we will work uh, with the after property we need to add the content so remember that we for each after property we, we added the uh, content empty but for this one it won't be empty we need to add the icon so i will use uh, inverted uh, slash then fo23 uh, this is the lock icon then let's put some more stylings position has to be absolute uh, left to zero just to move it a bit in center and top will be 18 pixel let's go back and see if this will do something yes by default now we have that icon if i hover over it yes it will change the uh, color of the icon also so we wish to add that animation where our lock is moving from the center to right side and it coming back from the left side again so for that kind of animation we need to use keyframes again so this time we will name those movement so keyframes name will be movement and now we want to work from two states we will work uh, three states this time basically so at 49 percent in uh, our animation we will do something then also at 50 and at 51 sorry this needs to be outside 51 percent so yes so when we come to animation and we are start animating we will use transform translate x by 100 percent so we will move our lock to the right side then at the 50 percent we will uh, move our lock to uh, left side so it will start on the middle when we hover it will move to right immediately turn back on the left side and come inside but here we will also put the opacity to zero so when once it comes to the right side it will disappear and after some time at 51 percent it will appear again so let's try it nothing right why 
well we didn't add our animation to icon at all so let's go back into code so when we hover over our third icon then at that point we wish to do something with our after property we wish to add animation to it called movement uh, it will be 0 0.3 seconds and i will add the property of forwards so forwards you can read the description here but basically it will uh, left the same values for our animation once it, it is complete, right? Let's save it and go back into browser. So now if we hover over our icon You can see that our lock is starting in the middle once we hover It, it will move our lock to the right side and at 50% it will add uh, like uh, opacity to zero so it will disappear from the light right side and in the same moment it will add uh, our lock to be on the left side so yeah you can see it here and uh, at the third state it will move it to a middle and also uh, put the full opacity to it right at one also that box shadow that we had the problem with now it's fixed so now you see that this third icon looks a bit more complicated but it's not it's uh, really easy to learn to but once you get to know css better uh, you won't have any problems with creating these kind of animations so we had successfully created three animations for icons. Hope that you like this video. Maybe you even can use some of these animations in your personal project. But yeah, this will be all for today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as I'm posting the new content weekly. Also hit the bell button so you could get notified about my latest content. So thank you and see you in the next video.